Pico Fryer, they're saying that they keep finding it turned off. The oil is not overheating, so it's not shutting off on uh, an appropriate high limit. But they're finding it with the pilot out. Oh, there it goes. Look. So there's only one thing that would turn the pilot out. Well, there's two things that would turn the pilot out. pilot's dropping out, if you look at this red and white wire, they run up to my thermal pile. Either the thermal pile is not staying hot enough to generate enough millivolts, or it is hot enough, which it is, and it's just not generating enough millivolts. So you could have a bad thermal pile. So we're on. Yeah, because even my high limit, oh, look, I, I, boy, you tap it, and you move anything, and that sucker taps off. Ah, okay. Interesting. No, either way, that should stay lit. So then we're taking it and running it, we're taking the pilot signal after it's lit, running it into the high limit, out of the high limit to this side. And then this side runs through the thermostat and back to the other side. So if it were a bad high limit, you're only interrupting the main burner circuit. You're not interrupting the pilot. So the fact that the pilot's dropping out is either bad gas valve, it's getting its millivolts and can't stay on, or bad thermal pile, which is definitely the more likely culprit here. All right, not every meter can do millivolts. And so this is a meter I have special for this. And you set it for DC and we're running 255, 250 millivolts on my pilot right now. It's a 750 millivolt system. So that means it can produce up to 750 millivolts. And so here's our old thermal pile. You have to take the bracket out. We don't have to, you can do it in, but I do. So it just slides in and then threads in place. So let's install this new one and see what kind of millivoltage it produces. And if it's steady, this was doing 250, but it was jumping around 250, 40, 79, 90. Uh, and that's right there could be enough to drop it out. All right, I'm trying to hold down the pilot, keep this in place while we've got that lid. We can watch it slowly climb. Generally at about 250, that's enough to hold the valve open. We'll see if this is more consistent. Alright, so actually that'll hold the valve open now. saw before was jumping around all right so that seems to do the trick now that we've got a good thermal pile in she's staying lit simple enough just not getting the correct power